We are the builders, the creators, and the magicians of our lives. We are the designers and the inventors of our lives. And we will make something out of this too. We are the builders, the makers, the inventors, the creators, the architects of our lives. And we will make something out of this too. We strain to understand this new language in our grave and weary lilt, in our haggard cadence. We mouth to one another stark words, distancing, isolation, loss, emptiness. Someone will ask us if we're going to be all right, and we will tell them only if we believe it. Another will ask us if we're going to get through this, and we will tell them that we will have to want it bad enough to see it. We strain to manage this new way of learning ourselves the day before the world tilted. I claim to be a lover of humankind. I touted my goodwill and arrogance about, bared my self-righteousness and feel-goods across my chest, and then when the world placed us in time out, I had to prove it. Take only my ration from the market, check on neighbors and phone friends, press my palm against glass to see family, my hellos and goodbyes muted, my farewells and homegoing silenced. I walk the streets I know like a stranger, like a soul outside of herself. Hold my lone woman praise and worship. Be okay with passing through the same four rooms while Mahalia blankets me in song. How I got over. I've been falling and rising all of these years. But you know, my soul sits back and wonder, how did we make it over? I now know that we are builders, designers, architects of our lives. We can draft an existence one day, and when it's upended, erase, maintain the foundation, and start over the next. We are all in our dojo of life, and this world has become our sensei, and we are stealth students studying this new language, this new thing, meditating and marveling, moving and mourning, marinating and musing. Each day, another chance to practice being human. Each day, another chance to learn to master ourselves.